there it is, there it is. Super Striker versus Kindra. Kindra is obviously the fox. So I'm gonna, I, I really gotta make sure I get my scoreboard set up right because of course you can't tell from the tags, but let me tell you right now, Kindra is the fox player. Super Striker is the Sonic. Let's find out what they can do here in winners' quarters. I know both of these guys are net battle regulars. So they should at least have some experience. <laughs> they don't seem to have the best connection though. I don't know what that is about. Uh, looking much better. Maybe maybe Nintendo servers just needed to wake up a little. Woo! Now either of these players need to wake up though, because you need to be awake, otherwise you get caught by those smashes from Sonic. Or of course, the jungles from the Fox. <laughs> yes, that's how you get kills with Sonic nowadays, just throw out that big old F smash, no? I can't blame him, that's just how some characters need to do it. No punishes with the spin charges. I've noticed a lot more Sonics are using the, the down B spin charge. Now that you can no longer shield cancel the the, the spin the spin charge. You know, spin dash down B. This is um, doing a lot better now. Getting a lot more use. Great edge guard there from Kindra, but he lets him recover with the air dodge. Probably did not start. Whoa! No, 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 no! So he lets him recover with the air dodge. Probably did not think he would make it back. And afterwards he just gets hard punished with one of those F smashes that the Super Striker has been throwing out a lot. Kindra with the instant out of shield up smash though. Good stuff from him. Oh, landing back A Little bit late on the second one though. Watch your inputs, watch your inputs. Yeah, how much damage, how much damage can he do? Is that another edge guard? Yeah, yeah, Super Striker didn't even bother going for the spring. He's now back in the game though, let's see if we can make a comeback. Stage again, slight lag on the landing. Home in the tech, another move that's seeing a lot more use in this game. I think Sonic is actually a lot more fun in this game than it was in the last game. <laughs> of course, made for Sonic mains might disagree. For obvious reasons. <laughs> Landing on the homing attack, getting punished by Kindra. This stuff is very hard to actually do it because he is so... Oh wow, oh wow. Just yet another F smash just thrown out is gonna take it. Kindra well in the lead. But you cannot forget how he got those early stocks. He got like a couple of great edge guards in this game. At least one early stock. With, uh, with an edge guard, reverse edge guard actually. I always try to remain confident when I have lost an early stock due to an edge guard. You know, the logic that if I just play neutral right, then I should be fine because that actually won pretty well. It's just the edge guarding that did not go so well, but the other shield punish from Kindra are on point as well. So that is 1 0 in favor of him. So that's, ooh. Yeah, let's get it. I'll aim you on stream. <laughs> but first we're gonna finish up Kindra versus Super Striker. Who, uh, who now has a lead over Super Striker. With the Fox. Came for the Jokers, all you got is a lousy Sonic. <laughs> well, not lousy, it is Super Striker Sonic, which is looking pretty good. But, uh, Definitely, definitely a character you're familiar with, uh, Versi. 
Who wants jokers anyway? Who wants joker anyway? Oh, Amy's gonna play the Joker. Oh, okay. Gonna learn live on stream. That's gonna be cool. Yo, Amy, I saw you posting a bit about uh, some medical stuff that you might not be able to make at the tournament because it would just be uh, too much energy or something. You could just do singles. You know, maybe. Maybe not stay lot uh, of time after you were knocked out like I get I get it you know medical stuff first but uh, I don't I, I don't want to see you disappear from the offline scene if you know what I mean anyway anyway I hope it works out Okay, it looks like Super Striker decided it was not the stage that was the problem as we find our way back to Pokemon Stadium 2. For a second there, I thought we had another SD by your boy Super Striker. That would be terrible. Okay, got some weird use from the spin charge or spin dash. And it actually worked out pretty well. <laughs> After all that riding around, he still got the hit. We got Kendra going for this giant spike repeatedly. I know it's less of a commitment because it stalls your falling to jump back on stage. Still, man, I wonder how big that hitbox really is. Okay, great homing attack from Super Striker. Also a bit risky because if Kinder would have spotlight set, would have been an SD. And now we got the Sonic Astromix coming out again. So much range, so hard to punish. It's better to stay out of the way. But that means that Super Striker can fish with those forward smashes to get that stock. Because he is doing better than he did in game one. Kendra still looking for those back outs. Woo! Just in time with the dash attack and it does lead to a kill. Man, if he had been a couple of frames slower, Super Striker would have taken it with the F smash. Now he's trying for a down smash. Hoping to catch a panic off him by Kendra, but it is not coming out. Kendra's looking for those juggles. Here we are. Not safe on hit though. Late Nair. And excellent catch with the forward air. Super striker keeping it relatively even. But here comes Kendra. Starting off hot from the angel platform. Double dash tag. Understandable. <laughs> we want those combos. And of course, grabbing out the shield has become a lot less reliable. So, you know, with some fast moves, you'll find that you can hit shields a lot more reliably in ultimate without getting punished. Even if it's just for the fact that people aren't as hardwired to instantly grab out the shield. Okay, nice little combo. We got the spin dash into the homing attack. That's a new Sonic brand and butter. There's the fire, but Sonic's ground speed is unmatched, so we're gonna get at least a dash attack punish. But Super Striker F smashing the thin air, Kendra landing behind him and going for the hard punish. And now for the first time in game two, we have a significant lead and it belongs to Kendra. Ah, Shine Spike missing again. Like I said before, he has enough time to just hop back on stage, making that particular edge guard a lot less risky. We got some uh, malfunctions with the jab on Super Striker's side, allowing Kidra to put a little jab on his own. He is starting to build this damage. He is starting to expand on this lead, but now Super Striker has him off stage, lets him jump to the ledge though. That's usually where you want to just throw in a hitbox, but he gets the grab and gets the stock. Only 37%. Super Striker did a good job keeping his percent relatively low while he was behind. To find out if he can build it up properly now on his last start. Got some leg spikes again. 
I assume both of these uh, people have a LAN adapter, but I also got to assume that Nintendo Circuit might be a bit strained in the weekend after Joker's release. Oh! Is, is that it? No! Just not in time to escort the Air Lords to ledge, but otherwise it looked like Super Striker would just not be able to make it. Fortunately for him, Fox Fire takes a little time to start up. Super Striker in a lot of trouble, he's in the air. And he gets down. Oh, yes, yes! He could even wait to see if Super Striker missed the tech and then reacts due to returning to base. The dash mechanics in this game, and Kindra takes it to oh.